At what point should a physician or patient be concerned with elevated creatinine? So creatinine is one of those things that's a little bit tricky. Ever since the early 90s, when creatine monohydrate became available as a widely uh, used supplement that's over-the-counter, it has by far been the most studied over-the-counter supplement, and it has been proven to be very safe, specifically when people are hydrating well and using it in conjunction with a good exercise program. It is the most abundant protein found in muscle tissue, and unfortunately, a lot of labs uh, in hospitals are still going back to creatinine levels in order to assess kidney function. So when you look at uh, estimated GFR for kidney health, the biggest variable in that formula is your creatinine. And when you take exogenous creatinine uh, or creatine through supplementation, your creatinine levels are always going to be falsely elevated. It's not necessarily due to a lack of efficacy of kidney filtration as much as it is to an overload of blood serum levels due to supplementation. The problem is that you're going to set off alarms when you go to any primary care for a well visit, or if you go into a hospital, expect a significant workup from a nephrologist when your creatinine comes back at 1.4, 1.5, et cetera, they're going to assume kidney damage. So I think that the more um, acceptable forms of testing these days, whether it be a 24-hour urine analysis or more recently a cystatin C, those are more indicative of kidney health rather than just looking at creatinine levels. Um, I wouldn't be too concerned with someone who's got a little more muscle mass than average or someone who exercises heavily, which breaks down protein, muscle protein, and you know dumps cr uh, uh, creatinine uh, into the into the blood or someone who supplements exogenous creatine. Uh, all of those people are going to have elevated creatinine. And one of the things that I always preach on here is expected findings are not alarming. The problem is that a lot of your providers don't have expected findings. They just kind of look within the flags. So understanding the mechanism of a treatment or what's going on and doing a proper assessment really gives you an idea of what an expected finding should be prior to even opening. I'll do my subjective assessment prior to looking at the objective data because I'll go into the objective data with a mindset of what I'm already expecting to see based on the feedback I've received.